Hello, today we're going to look at how to use uh, SQLite in C++. SQLite is a relational database that stores data locally on your disk, so you don't need any network calls in order to interact with it. It's nice when your data is too big to uh, fit into memory, but it's uh, small enough that you can fit it onto your disk, and you don't want to deal with setting up a completely separate uh, server in order to serve a SQL database. And it lets you like really efficiently interact with your data through SQL queries. Um, and we're going to use it in C++ using this uh, C++ library. And they have provided a very nice uh, working example of it, which makes it very quick to get up and running. Uh, so if you go to this website, we can uh, this repository, we can just follow their readme. Uh, so the first thing to do is to uh, get clone this repository and um, once we do that we can go into that folder and the the reason it's uh, so easy to follow is because they've uh, set up the dependencies with get submodules so if we initialize the submodules and clone it then we will have the library right in here. That's a SQLite CPP. Uh, if we go back to the repository, this is uh, the repository for the library. And uh, within this C++ library, they have the SQLite C library uh, included right in here. So we don't need to worry about installing that separately. So we have the uh, library and the example. Next step is to uh, just build an example there uh, to build it. Um, well, first let's look at uh, you know what the code actually is that we're going to be compiling. So they have this nice minimal example here in uh, the source directory, and so here you can see we're including a single header for the library, and uh, it pretty simply prints out the version. And then it creates a SQLite database called test.db3. And um, then it creates a table test, which has two columns. There's an integer column for the ID, that's the primary key. And then there's a column with text values. Then it inserts two rows into it. One row has a value of the text column of test. And then the second row has a value of second. And then um, th we find the row with ID of two, which is the second column because it's auto incremented ID, and then we update the text to uh, second dash updated. And to show that it worked, we um, you know query the whole table and uh, print out each row. And then uh, we drop the table and delete the database. And that's what this program does. So to watch it in action, let's compile it, create a build directory, cd into build, and then um, do any edits on main.cpp, and then uh, cmake to generate the make file, and to actually build it, cmake dash dash build. And so this does the actual compilation. So you can see, you know, we're compiling the, the dependent libraries. And now we have this executable here, SQLite CPP example. So let's run that and see what it does. And this is doing what we expected it to do. It created a test.db3 database. It inserted a test inserted a second and then updated the value to second updated for the second row and then if we select all the rows select star from test we get test and second updated but this uh, destroyed the database that we created uh, so let's quickly just comment out the part where we drop the table and delete the database so we'll update uh, that file and um, we can just run make again 
And now if we run the pro rerun the program, we have test.db3 left behind, so we can look at it with the uh, SQLite CLI. Um, so if you don't have that installed, we can do sudo apt install SQLite3. And this installs in a few seconds. And then um, in order to open the database, uh, we just type SQLite3, name of the database. And then uh, you can use .help to you know, help you navigate around. But usually, just look at what tables are in the database. There's one table, which is test. And then let's look at all the rows in test. So select star from test and terminate it with a semicolon. And we see what we expect. There's the first row is has about a second column of test, and the second row has a value of second updated. And if we want to get out of here, we just do dot quit, and we're back at the command line. Uh, so the CLI is you know critical, so you can see what you're doing with your database, and that's how you can get up and running pretty quickly with uh, SQLite 3.